And this question was submitted by text by a member of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Magnetics Community. The question is, will carbon-based spintronic devices find large-scale applications in the next 10 years? In 10 years, maybe not, except some uh, niche application of carbon nanotubes uh, for connecting electronic device. Uh, but I would say that um, uh, carbon-based material, graphene, also carbon nanotubes, can play an important role for what is called beyond CMOS, beyond the electronic with silicon. Uh, it seems now that, uh, for, and there are several ways to relay uh, CMOS at, uh, after 10 years from today. Uh, one of the ways, uh, molecular electronics, but uh, molecular spintronic also is an interesting way especially with graphene, it seems that in material like carbon nanotube or graphene, spin, uh, pure spin con can be propagated over large distance of the order of uh, 50, 100 microns. And so one can imagine, for example, new uh, types of uh, treatment and transport and treatment information with pure spin con in these carbon-based materials with a new tape new types of logics and new type of uh, uh, information in principle uh, based not on the charge but on spin currents, deep, for example, to uh, direction of the spin polarization of the spin currents. So I, I suppose I, my feeling is that uh, carbon-based electronics will play a role, not immediately, but after 15 or 20 years, for the development of a new type of electronics.